Okay, for this problem we have two random variables. They both have mean 10 and standard deviation 2 and they're independent. So IID independent and identically distributed. Find a number C so that the probability that D1 minus D2 is less than C is greater than or equal to 0.99. Now the way that we're going to approach this is with Chebyshev's inequality. Now Chebyshev's inequality states this, the probability that a uh, random variable x minus its mean is greater than or equal to k is less than or equal to sigma squared over k squared. So that is the statement of Chebyshev's inequality. Now if I take the complement of this event, the probability that absolute value of x minus mu would then therefore be less than k would therefore be greater than or equal to 1 minus sigma squared over k squared. So um, all I did here was reverse the inequality here. I've taken the complement of this event. The opposite of this being greater than or equal to k is that it's less than k. And so uh, the chance is not going to be less than or equal to this. So it'll now be greater than or equal to 1 minus that because the chance of this event plus the chance of this event have to equal 1. Okay, now how does this get used? So let x be equal to d1 minus d2. So that's going to be my x. Then the expected value of x is the expected value of d1 minus the expected value of d2. And that's going to be 10 minus 10, and that's 0. So x is going to be d1 minus d2, and I will subtract 0, minus 0. Also, let's figure out the variance of x. The variance of x is the variance of d1 minus d2. And by review problem uh, 2.5, the variance of this is equal to the variance of d1 plus the variance of d2. So uh, the reason for the plus sign we discussed in uh, problem 2.5 in this review. And so this is equal to, well, let's see, the standard deviation is given to be equal to 2, and so the variance is 4, so 4 plus 4, which makes 8. Okay, so let's plug that into Chebyshev's inequality. So if I plug into this line here, the probability that d1 minus d2 minus 0 is less than k is greater than or equal to 1 minus sigma squared is the variance 8 over k squared. Now this matches very closely what I see here. I want the probability of the absolute value of d1 minus d2 less than k to be greater than or equal to 0.99. So to make this work I need to choose k so that 1 minus 8 over k squared is equal to 0.99. I want 0.99 here to match the uh, right hand side over here. So if I solve for k, then that gives me the number, uh, if I solve for k here by matching this to be this, then the k here will be the c up here and I'm done. Okay, so now this is just simply um, algebra. So we have 0.01 is equal to 8 k over k squared. Uh, so let's see, so that gives us, take the reciprocal of both sides, 100 is equal to k squared over 8. So that k squared is equal to 800. And so k would therefore be equal to 20 square root of 2. And so our conclusion is that the probability that the absolute value of d1 minus d2 is less than 20 square root of 2 has to be greater than or equal to 0.99. And so the value of C for this problem will be this number right here.